civilised. Great way to start the week. You can't do right. Yeah, I'll come round every Monday with me washing if you want. Don't push it. I'm sure you've given him enough. Well, a man needs his meat when he's doing a hard day's work. Hey, look at that toast, Soph. I want to dip my egg. Yes, Your Highness. I thought it was in the doghouse. It is. So what's with this perfect wifey routine? Then? Well, I'm going to lull him into a false sense of security and then I'm going to be watching him. So, is it as good as the breakfast you get at Roy's? Oh, it's better. Correct answer. Got much on today? Oh, you know, the usual. Like what? Nothing exciting. Oh, proper mine of information you are. Well, there's nothing to tell. Up a ladder, bit of squeegee action, down the ladder, repeat. So you're going to be working all day, then? Blimey, Sal, give him a break. Because there's a hot pot over the road with my name on it. Well, if you help, then we'll be twice as quick. And if you swerve it, we'll be even quicker. Shh. What's up? Looks like my mum was right here. About what? Hiya, come on, come in. Well, she suspected Tim and Anna was having a thing. No, I wouldn't. You knew about this and you didn't say anything. Why did she suspected it? I, I, I thought she was being paranoid. All right, well, then there's got to be an innocent explanation. Are you joking? Mad that he's sneaking through the back door so no one can see him and he's bringing her flowers. What's all that about? Calm Mad down. Mad no. My mum is going to be gutted. I don't even know how I'm going to tell her. Mad you saw him. He looked dead guilty, didn't he? Right, we'll go around there and catch him at it. What? Seriously? You can't deny it if he's caught in the act. <sighs> Maddie, there's just some things that you don't want in your head. Go back to work and tell my mum that I want to speak to her. So she packed up. I can do that. That's me bold as brass. Mm. She's very confident. I'll give you that. She is. And her teeth are to die for. So come on, Sal. You're going to chuck your hat in the ring? Hmm? You know, you could do something to make yourself stand out. Like what? I don't know. Maybe you could sing your CV or prat it style or do a dance with some coloured scarves. <laughs> oh, there's more to life than work, Sean. Trainee manager opportunity. I thought you'd have been all over that. Mm, too old to be a trainee anything. You all right? Soph needs to talk to you. About what? private. She's waiting for you back at yours. Well, why didn't she text me? I mean, what's so important that you couldn't wait? Just come back with me, please. Like I said, we might be wrong. So when was this? Um, I, I don't know, about half an hour ago. I'm so sorry, Mum. Are they still in there? I'm not sure. You want to get around there and sort them out. Why don't you put the kettle on, eh? I knew something was going on. I knew it. You don't know that, Mum. Not for certain. Well, you don't go sneaking around, do you, if you've got nothing to hide? I saw them in the cafe earlier laughing and joking and, and flowers. I knew it. <sighs> he knows what I went through with your dad. The pain and the humiliation, and he swore he would never hurt me like that. <sighs> so? No, oh, thank you. Look, Mum, when he comes home, you can just confront him oh, and... You know what he's like. He can lie at the drop of a hat. I've seen him in action, remember? Oh, do you know what? I'm not having this. I'm not sitting here feeling sorry for myself. I want to hear what that low life has to say. Right, well, I'll come with you. There's no need. But, Lord, I'm fine. E yin and yang, yang ate their own body weight in bamboo. Oh, you're guessing. You're looking at the pictures and you're guessing. <laughs> How did you know it was Edinburgh? Because the zookeeper's having a tin of Einbrook. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> Sally. 
What exactly is going on here? Sally, please don't jump to any conclusions. I knew something was going on. I knew it. Oh, no, listen, love, listen. Oh, don't you dare talk to me, you sad old cow. Why her? Of all people, I thought you had a bit of taste. There's nothing going on. Oh, of course not. That's why you've been sneaking off on your sordid little assignations. You're going to have to tell her, Tim. Look, we need to talk about this. Why? Have you got the story straight in your head now? No, it wasn't like that. Don't insult me by telling me all your lies. I stuck up for you. I was on your side. Just leave her alone, Tim. We'll just stay out of this, Sophie, all right? I've punched you before and I've been more than happy to do it again. So Get off me or I swear. Go away. What's wrong with me? Nothing. Don't blame yourself, Mum. Oh! over and over again, starting at secondary school with Danny O'Malley two-timing me with Jeanette Bathurst. Well, what did Tim have to say for himself? Oof. Well, he's never been denied it. No, he hasn't. I must be so stupid. No, you're not. He had us all fooled. Sally! Sally! You've got it all wrong, honest. Right. Well, you're not going to let him in, are you? I heck, I'm getting shut of him properly. Sally, please let me explain. I love you. Tim, I am warning you. Move away from the door. Sally, you've got it all wrong. Do you know what? Two more seconds and the bug brush is going through the letterbox. <sighs> you haven't told her yet, have you? She won't listen. Oi! Sally, talk to me. Oh, there she is. And a slutty wind ass. Mum! Oh, go Sally! <laughs> you want him? You can have him! What's going on? T oh, for goodness sake, just tell her! I don't need telling, I've got eyes in my head! Sally, you've got it wrong, I love you! Oh, well, you've got a funny way of showing it. Look, I've not been playing away, just let me in! No chance! We need to talk about this in private! You are never stepping foot in my house ever again! <sighs> no, she's been teaching me how to read! Liar! Why would I lie about that and show myself up in front of everybody? I can't read. Anna's been helping me. <sighs> He's telling the truth. About the reading, anyway. What? You knew and you didn't even say anything. You told me not to. Oh, look, don't you two start, eh? All right, we'll get off then, yeah? Yeah. Give me a text if you need me, Emma. I will, thanks, love. Look, Sorry I'm about your clothes. Do you know, I can't believe I lived with you for the best part of a year and I didn't notice. The thing is, Sally, I did nothing but muck about when I was at school. It wasn't cool to be a boffin. I wish I'd have known about Professor Brian Cox back then, eh? How come your parents didn't pick up on it? Didn't have any books. Well, we weren't exactly literary, but my mum did have a Jackie Collins on the go. Listen, love, I'm not going to give you some big sub story. I was lazy. I found it hard and then I gave up. The longer I got away with it, the less it seemed to matter and then it got too late. But how do you manage? A busket. See it the pants. Look, it's, it's a struggle, I'm not going to deny it, but you do what you do to get by, don't you? I can't believe that I've kept it to myself all of these years. Now everyone's going to know, they're going to think I'm thick as pig muck. And as for Faye, I've let her down so many times. Faye, I'll understand. You know, I can't believe that you told Maddie and Anna, but you couldn't tell me. I thought you'd be ashamed of me. Oh. Credit to your mum. She can be first when she wants to be. Um, never mind that. Why didn't you tell us about Tim? Because he told me in confidence. And why didn't you tell me that your mum thought Tim was seeing Anna? Because she told me in confidence. All right, one all. 